Okay, it's the 6th of December and it's lunchtime. Rebecca and I have popped into one of the local parks in Chelmsford between work. Just gonna have a walk around. It's called Highlands Park. Lovely place. Uh, plenty of space, gets much busier in the summer, obviously. A bit quieter today, but uh, well worth a visit if you're ever here. And the old V Festival used to take place here. It's changed, it's gonna carry on, but under a different name. Vast area of, of landscape on which they, uh, they have their festival and things. Just show you around, lovely autumn day. Or winter day, really, now. Just gonna have a walk around. And, uh, getting some nice fresh air. Move around, go back that way to the car park. And in the far distance, the city of Chelmsford. Back again, and Dyla Dogwash's van is over there bit further around from where I was and you have this rather magnificent play area which is called the Highlands Adventure Park. Again I'm sure in the summer this gets quite a lot more busy. There's only me here at the moment. Fantastic area with some picnic tables as well over there for the parents whilst children, youngsters have a play around. Lovely amenity for the town or the city. I've travelled further around the track now and walked in a different direction. I've come across these three horses in the fields, happily enjoying themselves and ignoring me. Carried on walking and come to the stables, which has a cafe, artist studio, gift shop, bookshop, and toilets. It's a nice little area shopping area and uh, got some nice food here and give some things for whatever you want all decked up for Christmas as you move on from the stables and the shops area and the cafe you come to more formal gardens this is called the Pleasure Garden and there's a plaque here with information on it explaining exactly what happens and a bit of the history of Highlands House. Walk around further. restoration going on the woodwork here there's a pond just ahead here with the duckies on it there we go some more chilling on the bank there as well. Delightful spot. Near to the house we come to another garden area. This is called the One World Garden and uh, continues on through there. I'm going to go back that way at the moment but what I'll do is show you the plaque, give you more information about the One World Garden, opened in 2017, 2007, evidently to celebrate 100 years of scouting worldwide. As you walk back from the garden, you walk up this pathway and you eventually come to the house itself. Just at the end of here, House is used extensively by Chelmsford City Council for concerts, exhibitions, 
all kinds of things take place here. It really is a fabulous amenity for the city with a phenomenal view back across the park and into the car park from where we came and the city itself. As I move around, you get back to the city over there. It is a brilliant amenity, as I've said, for Chelmsford. And it's a credit that they keep this place so well looked after. I believe weddings and other events also take place in, in the house itself. So I'm heading back now from the park. It really is a vast area. So much more than I've been able to show you on this brief vlog. A place that's well worth a visit if you're ever in the Chelmsford area. Acres upon acres of land. Brilliant for dogs, families, children's picnics and also all the other activities that take place there. Going back to the van which is over there. Hope you've enjoyed a trip around Highlands Park.